Well, yeah, you do look good. Well, Oswald and I, hey dude, how's it going? We have decided to put up our tree, haven't we? And do a downward dog stretch. And whatever that, what's that one, dude? Yeah? You look at you showing off, are you getting used to the camera now? Oswald and I building the tree. Ready, bro? So that is how you set up your tree with a pug, Oswald. Give him something to distract himself with while you can get on with doing this. He did not help one bit. Mm -mm. Why? Oh, okay, fine. Well, yeah, you do look good. Do you like the tree, mate? Yeah, it's better than I was. Oswald <coughs> started to bite and nibble the tree, started to bite and nibble the bauble. So, so I decided to purchase this. So this here is an anti-chew spray. It helps deter dogs from the destruction of your house. And it's a bitter tasting sort of substance which is completely harmless to your pug. You don't like it, do you? Yeah, well, you should stop chewing the balls. So obviously Oswald was getting the bottom just down here. Yes, you were, don't give me that. This is really useful, especially when he's a pug, especially when it was, sorry, especially when he's a puppy, he's always been a pug it helps deter them from destroying your said belongings. I forgot to say, if you have a pug in a snowy environment, it's really, 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 really important to check the ice in between their toes. So I didn't say that in the last video. When you take your pug out for a little walk, make sure that you check for, what Oswald? Yes, that's right. Little things in between his paw, in between his toes. Also, give them a fake ball ball to play with too, especially when you pull up the tree. I've found that because this guy loves messing around with the bottom of the tree. So, frost out of the toes, anti chew spray, and fake ball ball just to keep them entertained while you're making that thing to set. So, old, say goodbye. Peace. Good boy.